This week is Computer Science Education Week, and so all of our kids are spending an hour working on some problem solving and logic skills, programming using different games from hourofcode.org. We talk to the kids before they start about perseverance and how when we're coding or we're programming something that we're going to fail a lot. And you know, if we don't get it the first time or the second time or the third time, we just keep going. So we work a lot with patience and perseverance and just keep trying and don't give up. Pull those back over. No, not the whole, okay, from right here. Click on this and See, now look, down. he turned again. Okay. So get those out of there. Those we want to get rid of. Oh All right, what do we need to do? We've got first grade in here right now. So they started with just telling a character to step forward or turn left and turn right to accomplish a goal. And as they keep working, it does get into if and then different kinds of blocks. So, you know, if the path ahead of them is stone, they have to turn left. If it's tile, turn right, and those kinds of things. So they're working a lot of problem solving and logic skills. These different programs are happening all over the world. We showed them a map before we got started. Uh, the Hour of Code events are happening worldwide this week as a part of a big computer science education celebration. District-wide, I'm sure there are schools all over the district that are participating this week as well. We really hope that them doing this gets them just more engaged in computer science and interested to pursue it further as they get older. We're hoping that a lot of our kids move into technology fields where they're going to be using these skills when they're adults.